my beauties and bees, and welcome to another episode of Eco News. I am your host, Miss Bumblebree, and today I want to talk just for a moment about hermit crabs. So hermit crabs are not actually crabs, first of all. They're not like crabs. They're uh, enomurans, which are closely related group of arthropods but not really they just kind of follow the same uh become crab uh body plan that all arthropods seem to go through as they evolve so uh the thing about anomurans though is that they've evolved for this specialized niche where they actually um <laughs> where they scavenge dead mollusk uh shells like shells that are made mollusk you know snails and stuff they create shells with uh uh, calcite, right? And the hermit crabs scavenge those. And that's what they've done for millions of years, for hundreds of millions of years, in fact. But in today's atmosphere, in today's climate, they're just finding new and interesting ways to uh, accommodate. Hermit crabs around the world turn to plastic trash to use as shells. Plastic shelled hermit crabs are becoming an increasingly common sight. Reminds me of that uh, on the labyrinth, that little old lady thing that carried all the um, junk on her back. Plastic shells have become a fashion trend for hermit crabs across the world. In a new study, scientists have looked into how often hermit crabs are using plastic and other human-made materials as their shells, concluding that it is likely to be a global problem across many different species. Researchers at the University of Warsaw in Poland analyzed nearly 29,000 images of hermit crabs that had been uploaded online platform on uploaded to online platforms such as iNaturalist by wildlife enthusiasts. The, they identified 386 crabs that had co-opted artificial shells as their homes. The most common human-made materials were uh was plastic caps like the ones used for uh, you usually find on a soda bottle uh which accounted for up to 85 percent of the artificial shells all in all they estimated that the problem impacts at least 10 of 16 terrestrial species of hermit crabs found across the tropical regions of the planet when i first saw these pictures i felt it was heartbreaking, Professor Martha uh, Zolkin, study author from the Institute of Evolutionary Bi Biology at the University of Warsaw, told BBC for radio. There's one with a broken light bulb in. Got like a glue bottle cap. That's a bottle cap. Examples of plastic shells. Yeah, well, this one looks metal. This one's metal too. Why are they showing metal shells and saying they're examples of plastic shells? I wonder. At the same time, we think we really need to understand the fact that we are living in a different era and animals are making use of what's available to them, she added. Hermit crabs have a soft abdomen with an exoskeleton that needs protection to save on energy intensive process of growing their own shell they've simply hijacked the disused shells left behind by dead crustaceans and dead mollusks however with the world's ocean becoming increasingly polluted with plastic it appears many hermit crabs are increasingly tempted to use trash as their shelters the new study looked into why hermit crabs are ditching their typically natural shells in favor of alternative of artificial alternatives and concluded that it's likely hinges on a few different things. Sexual selection is a likely factor because females may be attracted to novelty of plastic shells. Plastics are also generally lighter than chitin shells, which makes them more practical choice. Additionally, hermit crabs may uh, be choosing plastic shells as it helps them camouflage in a polluted environment. Isn't that so sad though? It is not clear if the plastic shells are impacting the well-being of the hermit crabs or whether it is 
benign consequence of living in the Anthropocene. In a follow-up study, the team hopes to uncover whether this new behavior is affecting the evolution of hermit crabs. These, uh, these uh, analysis will deepen our understanding of the consequences of plastic pollution in the marine ecosystem, as well as evolution of species in the context of new evolutionary pressures associated with the Anthropocene. The research, researcher said in a statement, Hermit crabs aren't alone in this plastic plight. In recent times, scientists have documented a myriad of ways that the natural world is beginning to change, is being changed by the ever-growing presence of plastic, from turtles' bellies filled with artificial netting to ants becoming entangled in synthesized fibers. In one particularly jarring example, geologists have recently discovered plastic rocks on a remote volcanic island and off the Brazilian coast. It's plenty, the, today's study was published in the Science of the Total Environment. I, don't, I think this is probably just going to be a short video. Let's see if we can... Yeah. So, of all those choices, he picked the plastic piece. Or is he going to switch it out for this, for this perfect shell? There you go. That's much better. You look much more comfortable. Your body's adapted for that shape. You can't even hide in this one. Don't you feel? I guess this is probably lighter, but cool beans. I'm glad you play found when you liked. Super cute. Yeah. Anyway, that was a little bit of eco news for us there. Uh, the plight of the hermit crab, the Anthropocene's well underway. Thank you for sticking around with me. Uh, please remember to be kind. Take care. We'll see you next time. Mwah.